air today. We appreciate the job that they are doing for us. Now, today is a big day here at Notre Dame. Not only is it senior day, but the Fighting Irish will be wearing special jerseys to honor Newt Rockney and the house that Rock built 87 years ago. Arvahid Sadrazadi spoke exclusively with the legendary coach's family this week. He joins us now live from Notre Dame Stadium. Hey, Vahid. Hey, Allison, good morning. You see the banners behind me, 1930, the last time The Rock, as head coach, won a national championship with the Fighting Irish. Now, that year, 1930, was the year they dedicated the new stadium, and Rock was a part of that. Well, today, they honor the legendary coach and honor the family, and as you said, I had the distinct pleasure of speaking to the family. Take a look. Newt Rockney meant so much to Notre Dame and its history. In the house that Rockney built this weekend, a dedication worthy of the very statue that adorns it. You know, like all the members of our family are very, very proud of this. Born Knut Kenneth Rockney in Voss, Norway in 1888. Knut, the future coach, immigrated with family to Chicago when he was just five years old. He eventually would play for the Irish at age 22. The game that changed football was on November 1st, 1913, with Rockney as captain of the team when they shocked a great Army team. And it goes from there. He spends four years as assistant coach before taking over as head coach in 1918. During his 13 seasons at the helm, The Rock won 105 games and led the Irish to three national championships, not only putting Notre Dame football in the spotlight, but also putting college football on the map. Uh, he uh, envision things like two platoon football back when it wasn't played that way. He had 11 men going both ways. He developed an entire second unit. He was big on things like uh, safe, comfortable equipment, uh, and then of course how the game was uh, covered in the, in the newspapers of the time. We're going inside him. We're going outside him. Inside him, outside him. And when we get him on the run once, we're going to keep him on the run. Known for his emotional speeches and his dedication to growing the sport. Rockney died tragically in a plane crash at the age of 43. Grandpa died in 1931. I wasn't born until 1950, so I honestly never even got to know him. Now I knew my got to know my grandmother much, much better uh, growing up. And through her, he was told stories of not just the legend, but the man he was. Grandpa just being a normal individual and like the time that he he went to replace a screen door at their house and grandma said he put it on backwards and he he liked to go down to uh, Holly and Mike's the down by the LaSalle Hotel and play a game of pool he went against that what do you hope players of today take away from your grandfather I hope a sense of the history of the game his contribution the the things that grandpa left you know, are, are in, indelible in the game of football. And I think as long as the game of football is played, Grandpa will be a part of that. And always a rock for the University of Notre Dame. 87 years after the original stadium was dedicated in a game versus Navy, the university and the team will likewise celebrate Rockney's legacy in their 91st consecutive meeting with the midshipmen. Long-standing rivalries were ones that he created with Southern Cal, with Navy, so that's special. And uh, it's, it's good to remember the individual whose original work made the original Notre Dame Stadium possible that we've added to today and are celebrating today. I think it's a very special weekend for all of us, for our family, because it's a chance to keep Grandpa's memory alive. And... The fact that the, the heritage and tradition of Notre Dame will always be here. So, it's special. And Newt Rockney III was honored last night as well. He has 15 family members in town. He spoke exclusively at the pep rally uh, and joined by fellow friends and family as well. Now, you heard me say uh, the pronunciation was Canute, and I specifically asked Knut Rockney III, what the correct pronunciation was of his first name, and he said the correct Norwegian pronunciation is with a hard K. It'll be a special day here at Notre Dame Stadium. Live at Notre Dame Stadium, Vahid Sadrzadeh, ABC 57, Saturday kickoff.